Hello children, Mrs Warren, Miss Barnard and I are going to read you a poem. It's called Things I Have Been Doing Lately by Alan Olberg. Things I have been doing lately. Pretending to go mad. Eating my own cheeks from the inside. Growing taller. Keeping a secret. Keeping a worm in a jar. Keeping a good dream going. Picking a scab on my elbow. Rolling the cat in a rug. Blowing bubbles with my spit. Making myself dizzy. Holding my breath. Being very nearly eight. Practicing my signature. Saving the best till last. My mum's put me on the transfer list by David Harmer. On offer, one nippy striker, 10 years old, has scored seven goals this season, has nifty footwork and a big smile. Knows how to drive in the penalty box, can get filthy and muddy within two minutes, guaranteed to wreck his kit each week. This is a free transfer. But he comes with running expenses, weeks of washing shirts and shorts, Socks and vests, a pair of trainers, needs to scoff huge amounts of chips and burgers, beans and apples, pop and cola, crisps and oranges, endless packets of chewing gum. This offer open until the end of the season. I'll have him back then, at least until the cricket starts. Any takers? My mum's put me on the transfer list. On offer. One nippy striker, 10 years old, has scored seven goals this season, has nifty footwork and a big smile, knows how to dive in the penalty box, can get filthy and muddy within two minutes, guaranteed to wreck his kit each week. This is a free transfer but he comes with running expenses, weeks of washing shirts and shorts, socks and vests, a pair of trainers, needs to scoff huge amounts of burgers and chips, beans and apples, pop and cola, crisps and oranges, endless packets of chewing gum. This offer, open until the end of the season. I'll have him back then, at least until the cricket starts. Any takers?
Habits by Mab Davis. Habits are the things you do that mother says you're not to, yet you keep on doing them because somehow you've got to. There's biting nails and sniffing and there's standing on one leg and leaving all the white stuff you find inside your egg. There's fidgeting and whistling and there's shuffling with your feet, there's sucking your lead pencil and noising when you eat. There's talking with your mouth full and tilting up your chair, elbows on the table and messing up your hair. There's throwing stones and grunting and kicking things about, putting hands in pockets when you ought to keep them out. There's making funny faces and always saying, eh? Forgetting you've a hanky and getting in the way. There's lots of other things as well. I'm always being told. I don't suppose I'll ever learn. Not even when I'm old. Because I'll tell you something. Honest, it's quite true. Half the things that I do, well, Daddy does them too. Greetings by Anne Bell. Good morning, my husband, I said. Where have you been and what have you seen? What's new? Hmm? said husband. Hmm? Good morning, my sons, I said. Where have you been and what have you seen? What's new? Excuse us, please, said sons. We've things to do. Good morning, my dog, I said. Where have you been and what have you seen? What's new? Why, everything's new, said Dog. The sun that bounced into the sky is quite a different sun to the one that rolled behind the hills last night, just as darkness fell, and the grass is full of brand new scents, most marvellous and interesting, and the birds are singing different songs. Oh, everything's new, said Dog. Good morning, my cat, I said. Where have you been and what have you seen? What's new? But the cat only narrowed his golden eyes and asked if the milk was there.
Me and my bruv. Me and my bruv get along just great. My bruv's twelve and I'm nearly eight. We support United, my bruv and me, and clock all the football on the TV. My bruv's at big school. He does French and maths. When I show him my knees, my bruv laughs. We like beef burglars, oven chips and peas. That's me and my bruv's favourite teas. We don't like homework. My bruv gets tans. Even my bruv can't do my sums. My bruv collects things, real antiques and tapes and comics. He's got heaps. Bruv's into software. That means games. Doing the re computer really takes brains. Our mum says my bruv's a big lazy lump. And to me and my bruv's room's a rubbish dump. It's half his mess, but he blames me. Still, I love my bruv. My bruv's mega brill. I like wrestling with Herbie because he's my best friend. We poke each other, but not very hard, and punch each other, but not very hard, and roll on the grass and pretend to have fights just to make our sisters scream. But sometimes, if he hits me too much and it hurts, I get mad. And I punch him back as hard as I can. And then we are both crying and going into our houses and slamming our back doors on each other. But the next day, if it's sunny, we come out into our yards and we grin at each other. And sometimes he gives me an apple or I give him a cookie and then we start wrestling again. Good questions, bad answers by Wes McGee. Where's the rattle I shook when I was one? P vanished. Where's the teddy I hugged when I was two? Lost. Where's the sandbox I played in when I was three? Broken up?
Where's the beach ball I kicked when I was four? P burst! Where's the fort I built when I was five? Destroyed. Where's the box of comics I collected when I was six? Missing. Where's the electric train set I loved when I was seven? Given away. Where's the holiday scrapbook I made when I was eight? Disappeared. Where's the tin of marbles I had when I was nine? Swapped. Where's the bicycle I rode when I was 10? Sold. What? Gone? Everything? Yes, all gone. All gone. Teddy I hugged when I was two. Lost. <laughs> 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 <laughs>